mountain high enough. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Food for the Soul. It's Saturday, time to get cooking. I want to start cooking before the football games come on. Today we're doing a quick meal that I usually do during the week when I've had a long, hard day's work. We're doing ranch chicken with uh, my baby uh, potatoes. Oh my God, they're so good. I love them to death. With um, a special mm, kick to them. So don't go away. And when you come back, we're going to get started right here. Stay with me. Okay, we're back with our potatoes. You see here, I've already cut these potatoes up. I love these because this is that little celebration bag of those little baby to, uh, potatoes. And they come in different colors. I love colors with my food. I just love colorful food. So we've already cut these up, kind of cube them up there, little, little bit of uh, potatoes. And first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a little olive oil. I'm going to drizzle a little olive, little olive oil on here, just like that. And then, oh yeah, we're gonna mix that up in there like that. Oh yeah, olive oil. And then we're gonna stick these in the oven. Oh yeah. Look at that, oh, yeah. Okay, and you know, it depends on how much you like. I usually do about mm, two good, two good pinches <laughs> to make sure I get it in there. If you want more salt, you just add some more salt. You know what you like. If you want more, some people like more, some like less. And I just stir it around, make sure it's good and coated in there. And now, this is what we're going to do now. Now I'm going to take some smoked paprika. This is about a half of a um, tablespoon. And I'm just going to put it all over there. And we're going to mix it up in there. Just like that. Okay? Oh, yeah. Just like that. Just mix it around real good. Now, um, to give that little... <laughs> extra kick my father likes to heat so I don't put a lot this is um, what you like or how much heat you want and I didn't put it so I just do a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper in there not a lot just a, just enough to get it in there uh, that's enough because then I can't take it he likes the heat I don't and then to top it off we're gonna take probably about a half a teaspoon of uh, garlic throw it in there and just dash that around up in there just like that okay let's move this out the way make sure all of that's mixed in real good look at that oh yeah it's gonna be good that's gonna be some good eating now we're gonna get ready to put this on our pan Is our pan here and the only reason i have aluminum foil keep me from i'm lazy don't want to have to do too many washing dishes so i just add a little bit more olive oil on my pan just spread it out there just so you won't have a whole bunch of sticking. I'm gonna spread out there real easy, just like that. Then I'm gonna take these and just put them on there. Just like that. Spread them out really good on your sheet pan. Just like that. Spread them out real good. Oh yeah. This is gonna be delicious. We eat this all the time. My father loves these. They're fantastic. Like that. We're gonna put this in the oven for on a 450 for about 25 minutes and then we're gonna start dealing with our chicken while this is cooking in the oven so stay with me and don't you move okay now we got our chicken let's get it ready so we can head over to the pan the potatoes are smelling fantastic in here now usually when I do this my uh, ranch uh, chicken I always I put just a little just a little dribble oil on each one of the pieces not much just a little bit uh, and these are boneless uh, short thighs. My, we love these boneless short thighs. But you can do this with um, with the breast or whatever. Doesn't matter what part of chicken you want to use. But uh, we just use the boneless short thighs because that's what uh, we like up here in this house. All right. Let's put a little oil all over that, and then we'll take a little bit of my. You can see it. Slap your mama, and just put it lightly on there. Uh, all over there like that not much then we're going to take our and this is where we're going to get heavy handed with the uh ranch dressing because the flavor truly comes through just gonna put that all over there like that we're gonna flip him flip him real good oh yeah there we go flip him That's 
where I get my hands in and I get the rub and stuff in. Make sure it's getting all over there. I want it all over there rubbed in real good when I get ready to put this in the skillet. I want that flavor to go all through there. There we go. All through there, just like that. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Now, this is ready. And we're getting ready to go over and put this in the skillet. But before we put in the skillet, I got something else going in the skillet first. So don't you move. Let's head over to the stove. Okay, we got our pan ready. But before we start doing our chicken, we have a little something else. I'm going to put a little few onions in here and try to get them ready. Let's turn this up a little bit. Got a few onions I'm going to put in there. And of course, if you've been watching my show long enough, it's hard for me to cook anything without mushrooms. I claim I'm a mushroom fanatic. I can't help it. So we're just going to saute a few mushrooms in here with this to go with our chicken and our potatoes that are roasted in the oven. With a few little onions. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to just a few little onions up in there. And we're getting ready to put our, put our mushrooms in here to go along with this real quick. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. Just a mixture, and I can't help, I just like all types of mushrooms. So we got a mixture, a nice little batch of mushrooms that's going to go in there with that. And just a little bit, we're going to hit this with a, just a little regular salt. About two or three up in there. And put a nice little spot of pepper in there there we go and get this moving here there we go there we go look at there that's gonna be good oh yeah we'll have this along with our chicken oh yeah mm, i love the smell of onions when they're cooking and those mushrooms too oh yeah our potatoes mm, the potatoes are smelling fantastic just about time to take those out oh look at that that's gonna be so good can't wait to put the chicken in here oh that's awesome that's gonna be fantastic this is just a quick little meal when you're in hurry during the weekday or on the weekend either one but it's quick delicious and I promise you, you and your family, you're going to love it. Real simple. Look at those mushrooms. Oh, God, I love the way mushrooms look when they're cooking. That's fantastic. Mmm, smell my potatoes. It's almost time. We're going to saute these. And then we're going to push them to the side in just a minute. And we're going to add our chicken. Look at that. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh yeah, it's time to start adding some chicken now. While those sit to the side, we're gonna add our chicken real quick. Look at that. Pan see those. Do about uh, five minutes, three to five minutes on each side, depending on how thick your chicken is. Take a lot. There we go. Oh yeah. And take a lot. Here we go. There we go. Now, we'll let those do about, like I said, three to five minutes on each side. And then we'll flip them. It's not gonna take long. With short thighs, they're kind of thin, especially when you take the bone out and you spread them out. So it really won't take them long. If you're dealing with the breast, it might take just a little bit longer, but not too much. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. So we're gonna let that do its thing. So don't you go away and we'll come back. I'm gonna flip these and then after that we'll be about ready to plate something. So stay with me. Okay, guys, the potatoes are out and they look fantastic. I can't wait for you to see them. It's about time to flip these real quick. Look at that. Okay. It's time to do a little flip. Oh, very nice. These are doing good. These are going well. These are going to be nice. Oh, yeah. These are going to be nice. And our mushrooms are fantastic. Look at that. Well, that's going to be some good eating right there. That is going to be some good eating. So we're going to let them do their thing here. And 
when we come back, <laughs> it'll be time to start plating something because it'll be our time for this to come on up out of here. So don't move. Okay, we are back and we are plated. We got our wonderful chicken. Take a good look at that. Look at those potatoes. And I put a little dipping sauce there on the side, bring a little extra heat because my father likes the, he likes the heat. But look at that. Beautifully done. The uh, mushrooms, the potatoes, the potatoes turned out perfect. The flavor is off the chain. Fantastic. Truly fantastic. I'm going to have to taste this for you guys. I got to taste this. Okay, now let's taste this, baby. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh God, that meat looks so tender. The chicken, oh my God. Mmm. That's delicious. Ranch flavored dressing, potatoes. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Potatoes got that little cayenne kick to it, but not too much, not too overpowering. Oh my God, fantastic. And the mushrooms. We already know. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That's good. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That's truly, truly delicious. Listen, thank you for hanging with me for another show. And, mmm. We'll be back next week, starting all over again. Thank you, everyone, for going to my website, showing me love. Appreciate it. Please keep going and subscribe to my YouTube channel and it is the holidays. The holidays are on their way, rather. And I can't wait. It's time to start bringing out the baking pans. We're going to start doing some baking. So stay tuned. And remember, whenever you hang with Chef V, everybody gets food for the soul, baby. I'll see you next week right here. <music>